Hello, Tid Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And yes, right behind me is this airplane that you have seen my journey in all throughout these past couple of years. So today we are gonna talk about the top five reasons why you should buy a Cessna Cardinal. One of the top reasons to buy a Cessna Cardinal is you probably have already trained in a Cessna and it's not that much of a different airplane. A Cardinal is a little bit trickier to fly. I wouldn't really say trickier. It, trickier. It's got some different handling characteristics. Namely, the one thing that's different is the stabilator. So landing it just takes a different touch and you'll get it on your first three or four landings. It's no big deal. But overall, it still handles like a Cessna, which is what you trained in. And that makes it so much easier because it's such a great transition to go from your private pilot's license where you've been in a Cessna and to kind of go into maybe the next level up from a 172. And it's a really, really familiar feeling that you have when you've actually trained in the same aircraft that you've purchased from. So that is a fantastic reason to go ahead and get a Cardinal. Also, this plane loves to fly. And when I was doing my commercial rating, I discovered that you trim this plane upright and she will just sit there in a turn all day long. The plane also does not get away from you. It is very easy to fly and won't give you any surprises. Well, the best thing about buying an airplane that you've trained in something similar is you really already know how to fly it. So there's not gonna be that much new and it's just gonna be just enough where you're not overwhelmed with flying it, but you're, and you're not inundated with new things. It's comfortable yet challenging, which is what you want as a beginner pilot and your first airplane. And when you think this plane was designed in the late 1960s, it's very impressive. The engineers got this one right. It's just an easy, forgiving plane to fly. The Cardinal is a challenging plane to fly that will build your skills as a pilot. Number two, they will hold their value. Cardinals have a cult following and you'll always be able to buy and sell a Cessna Cardinal. Just in the time that I've had this YouTube channel, I've had several offers to buy my plane and it's not for sale. Well, not yet anyway. Now here is a slice of my experience in getting money out of things. It may not be wise to enter into a luxury purchase such as an airplane or a boat, a specialty car, or even an RV with the thought of, will I get my money out of it when I sell? It may not be best to think like that because you can't put a value on its use and the value owning and using this adds to your life. You will be an airplane owner and more importantly, a Cessna Cardinal owner. There are numerous owners group like Cardinal Flyers Online for support, and every Cardinal owner will talk to you and share their ownership experiences with you. And when you upgrade, you will always be able to sell a Cardinal. My first Cardinal I was involved with sold in 36 hours of it being decided it was for sale. It wasn't even listed, and it went in three days and it just went through word of mouth. That's the plane that you want to own. Number three, maintenance will be manageable because parts are readily available. Cardinals are one of the most widely used airplanes in the GA fleet, along with Cessna 172s and Cessna aircraft in general. So just about every mechanic will be familiar with them. I've never had to wait any longer than two days for a part to come in. Cardinals are also easy to upgrade. I did an extensive upgrade in mine and had no issues. I ran into no roadblocks and the estimate was actually a little bit higher than what it turned out to be. It was right on target. There were no surprises. Maintenance is also financially manageable in a Cardinal. The likelihood of you getting a $30,000 surprise in a Cardinal is pretty low. You may, during the course of ownership, get a three to $5,000 surprise my last annual was 3,350. Yeah, ouch. But I would have had to get that stuff done anyway, and it was a cylinder issue discovered during the annual. So I'm glad it was discovered on the ground than discovered in the air. Number four, a Cardinal is an airplane you can grow into as a pilot. They are great stepping stone airplanes. 
It will build your skills as a pilot to get into something bigger. Or if you don't want to get into something bigger, you can get into a faster Cardinal because they have an RG with a more powerful engine. You can do a cross-country flight very comfortably in a Cardinal. I go between Florida and Washington DC every few months and it's a long day and it's one of the reasons why I want a faster plane, but the Cardinal is really comfortable and it's an airplane you can grow from just getting your private certificate all the way to your commercial. Number five, a Cardinal is easy on the fuel. 8 gallons an hour for the 150 horsepower and 10 gallons an hour for the 180 horsepower. That's completely manageable as far as fuel expenses are concerned. And that's about the same mileage of a big fat SUV or a really efficient motorhome. You can explore different performance settings at altitudes. I took mine up to 12,000 feet and my fuel burn went down to about 5.5 gallons per hour. And that's a best guess since I don't have an engine monitor it's just what I filled up with when I landed. Having this low fuel burn will give you some margin as you learn all the ins and outs of airplane ownership. And it won't break the bank when you decide to go for a last minute weekend somewhere. All in all, a Cardinal is an awesome first plane to own. And they can be hard to find. To be perfectly honest, I bought mine knowing full well what needed to be upgraded. And here are the numbers. I paid $38,000 for my airplane. I put in $25,000 of avionics upgrades and my maintenance has averaged about $3,500 a year. All in all, buying this plane made my life better. And that is the best you can do in my book. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know if I can help you out in any way. And if you are over 50, get out there and get flying.